guys! So I feel really, really, really stupid right now. The first reason is because I spent about 15 minutes trying to do my hair and then got frustrated and left it as it is. <sighs> Second reason is because I literally waited until the last minute to film this video even though it was probably the easiest task in the world. I can't even promise that I'm not going to do the same thing next week because Here's my plan for my next week's video. Alright, so my birthday is on Saturday, the 17th, and I was planning on actually vlogging my birthday, but then a few things came up and I was a little unable to do that, and so I thought maybe the next day when I go to Supernatural Convention, I can vlog from there. But on the website, it said that we weren't really allowed to record anything, so I thought of a different way of doing this. I'm going to vlog from tomorrow up until Sunday and I'm basically going to collab these seven days into one video so you're going to see the birth week vlog alright so today I thought I would do a sort of answering some questions but of course I am not that popular right now so I thought I'd answer the science side of tumblr questions that have remained unanswered because we all know science side of tumblr is very important so let's get started if I only eat eggs and ramen noodles for the next two months, will I die? Eventually, we'll all die. But for those two months, you will live. Why do sandwiches taste better when they're cut into triangles? We eat with our eyes before we eat with our mouths. I've heard this so many times, and I think it's so true. When you see something and it appeals to your eyes, it's most likely going to appeal to your taste buds as well. Like, if I see a nice, juicy burger, then I'm going to mentally prepare myself to think that is going to taste like the best thing in the world. Why does wearing high heels make you feel so powerful? Um, when you're taller than someone, you're kind of standing over them, and you're looking kind of down on them, and you feel... and you feel superior to them. The second reason is because you could potentially stab someone with your heel. Can you explain how dudes can wear shorts in the winter without any problem? It's probably because they have so much leg hair that they don't have to shave. I mean, when girls wear shorts, they have basically bare skin exposed, right? But like, when you see a dude wearing shorts in the winter, or if you see a bear in the winter, there's particularly no difference because they both have lots and lots of fur. Where do noses go when we die? I'm not getting any sleep because skeletons don't have noses. If you didn't learn anything about the human body in school, here's a little lesson for you. This isn't... Okay, to my understanding, this isn't really like bone like it is here. It's more like cartilage. What would happen if I injected liquid artificial vanilla flavor in my bloodline? You'd be doing a great favor to that vampire that's about to bite you in the neck. Please explain to me why shipping brings so much joy but also so much pain. I think it's because we get so happy when we see two people together about to unite and become lifelong lovers and you know that they're going to care for each other and just always be there for one another because shipping is about sacrifice and love. The pain part is that they never become canon. Alright, I think it's time we end this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want. If you don't, that's cool too. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and make sure to leave a comment down below saying what other videos you would like to see. Bye!